Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is weird. Um, I start off pretty slow, but it starts getting, it gets really good towards the end, and this is just basically what Cod Forest taught me: is to never, ever, ever depend on your teammates. This is so ridiculous. I end up going a large number of kills in this video and a uh, low number of deaths but uh, most of my deaths are at the very beginning of the game because I suck and um, after that I basically not a lot of stuff have well I do get three helicopters and we end up losing the game so that's something I guess but this is just like this is so typical of COD 4 and this is typical of me just to miss that badly but whatever and also I should really get rid of the uh, flashbangs because the flashbangs are so bad they take so forever to toss and I, well sometimes I guess they give me kills but they're so unreliable too and I start out by biting my mm, Basically by not being able to kill these fucking campers and they just keep sitting behind that and I get quick scope like that. That's like I think that's about half of my deaths are just like quick scopes or no scopes or shit like that. Just like hip firing snipers. But that was a pretty nice nade, I have to say. That I dropped because I died, but and also I got a Ferrari kill as I got called it. Um, yeah, so that guy tried to quick scope me once again and it didn't work out for him. And right here I just wait for my first UAV sweep so I know where they are, not to kill myself without reason and because that's stupid. And right here I get my first airstrike which is always nice but I think I end up fucking up this helicopter. But all in all, yeah, I got quick scoped again, even though it wasn't a teammate right in front of me, I was probably aiming for him, but whatever. I guess that's just the nature of the beast, even though quick scoping isn't that predominant in this game as it is in others. And what I learned about Call of Duty or Call of Duty 4 especially is that uh, as compared to other games and um, as compared to other current look at that no scope other current call of duty games it's the maps aren't designed for multiplayer as much as you may have found out when you play the campaign this is all the maps in this game are just taken out of the campaign and so they're not ideal for multiplayer from i don't i didn't see that guy right there he's just sitting in a corner and I, i'm too stupid to see him but he's too stupid to shoot me so that works out and the maps in this game aren't like optimized for multiplayer because it's just like always like two or three ways to get from one point to another and that makes camping so much more easy in this game and uh, you can see by my opponents <laughs> I flash myself, I hate when I do that my opponents are just complete and utter campers as you can see right here while I kill the entire team don't mind if I do they just sit in corners all every game and right here I'm like shit I don't have a UAV so I'll put it down somewhere obviously that's not gonna work out for me but yeah basically so I know they're gonna come back to the spot because campers always come back to their spot and that's just what I was waiting for if you were asking yourself why I was camping myself that is the reason and I was camping for the greater good you might say Right there I got a helicopter and I called it in before I died so that's unfortunate but whatever doesn't really matter anyways because I, I'm of the opinion often that I just call in my helicopter helicopters before I die. For those of you who are not aware of this and haven't been around in the Call of Duty 4 days, uh, helicopters, kills or any kill streaks kills in Call of Duty 4 count towards the current life you you are in and since it's the highest kill streak if you respawn and call it in and it gets like seven kills you have another helicopter without doing anything and right here it's just he juke me and i have to give him that kill 
end right now. I'm I was just like half assing this game and I was just like, god damn we're gonna lose to these fucking campers and I was getting pissed off. So I start concentrating and this is one of the few times where it actually works. No, it doesn't work out for me, but uh, it does work out in the end for the the score, I guess, because it gets much better than the current score. You might be thinking, oh my god, this, this game isn't actually that good. Why why is he posting it? And especially as a postcom, like, if you watched my videos, you would know that I usually just um, try to make at least my postcoms pretty decent gameplays. But this is just kind of like where I'm like, I am so pissed off at these campers. I willed myself to make, uh, to get better kills and stuff like that. Those guys were so bad. I, I have no idea. I knife them. Panic knife. Amazing. Even though I don't panic knife because I use um, tactical layout. I was just so pissed off because the entire games before that there was always campers in the game. And um, even though I didn't get a really good gameplay I could use, so I won't be using it basically. Uh, I found out that what helps really well against campers is basically just using the RPG RPD with uh, deep impact. That is, I don't know why he turned around. He must have known I come from there. This is where I get my second helicopter and get taken out immediately afterwards. So that's. Fortunate, I guess, because uh, I don't know. But uh, the pilot of this helicopter definitely isn't drunk. That guy knows exactly what to do. And I thought I got that kill there. I should have kept shooting and might have actually killed the guy. But they're back in that building. Everybody's just sitting around, camping, shooting at my helicopter. So that's always annoying. That is one of the problems. In this game also the spawns are much more rigid than in the other ones because you can do much you can basically like spawn trap in team death matches is stupid but um, yeah so uh, so the people are always are often in one space and I just keep killing them and killing them but it makes no matter and we end up losing this game regardless of my trying to win it but yeah this is basically the end i call my last helicopter obviously it doesn't get me any kills and i got self saved by the bell there all in all i went 38 and 9 13 and i still lost so but that's caught for in a nutshell